The formula for determining the degrees of freedom between K groups in an ANOVA is DF equals K1, where K is the number of groups and N is the sample size as a whole. The degrees of freedom between groups indicate the number of independent values that can vary in the sample and are used to establish the crucial values for testing the null hypothesis that the means of the groups are equal. Notably, there is another type of degrees of freedom in ANOVA, namely the degrees of freedom within groups. The degrees of freedom inside groups, indicated by the symbol DFW, are computed as follows, dfw equals n, k, where n is the sample size and k represents the number of groupings. The degrees of freedom within groups represent the entire amount of sample variability that cannot be explained by the differences between groups and are used to compute the residual sum of squares in the ANOVA model. Using ANOVA and Lean Six Sigma product development projects, in a Lean Six Sigma product development project, analysis of variance can be used to test the hypothesis that the means of different product features or characteristics Characteristics are equal. The purpose of this test is to determine whether there is a significant difference in the average performance of the product features and to identify which features are driving the difference. For example, suppose a product development team is designing a new smartphone and wants to determine if there is a significant difference in battery life between different prototypes. The team could use ANOVA to compare the battery life of each prototype and determine which prototype has the best average battery life. To perform the ANOVA test, the team would first divide the prototypes into different groups based on the battery life feature. The team would then calculate the sample mean and standard deviation for each group and compare the means using a t-test or a f-test, depending on the assumptions of equal variances. If the test results indicate a significant difference in the means, the team could then use post hoc tests to determine which prototypes are significantly different from each other. The degrees of freedom between groups and within groups are also important in this analysis. The degrees of freedom between groups represent the number of independent values that can vary in the sample, and the degrees of freedom within groups represent the total amount of variability in the sample that is not explained by the differences between the groups. The team can use the degrees of freedom to calculate the residual sum of squares and the mean square error, which are used to determine the significance of the differences in means. In conclusion, ANOVA is a powerful tool for Lean Six Sigma product development projects as it allows the team to determine whether there is a significant difference in the means of different product features and to identify which features are driving the difference. By using ANOVA, the team can make informed decisions about which prototypes to continue developing and which features to improve, ultimately leading to a better product.